How's it going everyone? Justin again. As always, thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. Don't you just hate it when you get up in the morning, start the car, put your foot on the brake to put the vehicle in gear and this happens? Yeah, check brake light, check turn signal. Some cars run off of one filament, a single filament bulb. This car, I believe, runs on a dual filament bulb, which is why both of the light, uh, the turn signal and the brake light went out. So, it's my hope, okay, I know, you should diagnose it before, you know, just throwing a bulb at it, but look, uh, for the price that I pay for a bulb, I'm... I'm, I'm going to need them sooner or later, so why not, right? So I got a two-pack for like five bucks or ten bucks or whatever it was. I don't know. At any rate, the, uh, the hope is, is that all it is is just one burnt-out bulb. And if that's all it is, easy, quick, simple repair. I'm going to show you guys how to do it today. Uh, but if it's not, we're going to need to bust out that test light, start checking fuses, and uh, look at the wiring and make sure the rodents didn't start chewing on the wiring. If we have to get that involved, things are going to get real interesting real quick. So stay tuned. All right, so this is going to cover basically 2007 Mercury Mariner, uh, the Mazda Tribute, the Ford Escape. Uh, really down and dirty. We're hoping it's just a bulb. You just need a Phillips screwdriver to uh, gain access here. And, and there should be like two guides or push to click in type trees that are on the other side holding it to the body. We might have to get jiggy with it and get something to pry on here but for right now let's just go ahead and remove the screws and see if we can't just pull this out by hand because I know a lot of you on the side of the road that might be all you have you might not have a trim tool or anything like that so let's just see if we can't get down and dirty here wiggle 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 okay kind of get your Fingers wedged in there a little bit. Oh, maybe. oh yeah. Alright, so I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Let me see. Oh, let me tilt you down. Alright, so right here. Actually, it might be easier if I just disconnect these. To show you. Oh, great. That's not a good sign. All right, well, I don't, hopefully you guys can see this, but there's two little pins that line up and they fit in here, almost Christmas tree style. And I've already got a problem here. U-Haul uh, has tied into our wiring harness, so I'm hoping that's not going to play a role. Uh, the electrical connector that I tried to simply just push and pull on uh, simply broke. So without trying to further damage it, I'm just going to rotate the bulb counterclockwise until it frees itself up. We're just going to simply pull it out. Now we'll pull the bulb. And you can see, bring it up to the camera for you guys. You can see where it's smoked right here. So my thought process, and it looks like it's been changed out before because that's an aftermarket bulb. Uh, my thought process is, is this bulb is just burnt out. So we're going to go ahead and install the new one. Turn the car on, or cycle the key, and then see if the bulb starts blinking. If it does, home run, baby. Real cheap, easy fix. So, let's go ahead and plug this in. Like so. Remember, it's a dual filament, so this is our brake and our turn signal. Let me leave that somewhere here where you guys can see it. And let me go get a key. Oh yeah, we're back in action. Oh yeah. Sweet. So that worked out great. So now we're going to put the bulb back. We're just simply going to turn it back to where it was. Like I said, and then we're going to rotate it now clockwise to lock it back in place. Now we'll simply just line up 
the guides, give it a nice little shove, and now we can put our screws back in. All right, now I know what you guys are thinking. Justin, did you really have to do a video showing us how to change out a light bulb? Guys, it could have been so much more than that. Notice that that was my starting point, okay? I went with what was the least expensive and what I felt was probably the issue. Uh, now granted, you'd always wanna, you know, start somewhere. And in this case, for me, it was fairly simple to start with the bulb. Also, there's a larger audience out there outside of just people that are mechanic-minded or automotive technical savvy, we also have a pretty big audience of people that actually just don't know a whole bunch about being a mechanic or doing vehicle repairs in general. So this video might have helped somebody out there that actually just didn't know how to gain access to the rear light, how hard or simple it would have been to change out the bulb, if that's actually what's going on. Also, like I said before earlier in the video, these are dual filament bulbs, and somebody might want to know, oh man, do I have two bulbs out? Do I have one bulb out? What's really going on here? Now they had a chance to see what was going on. And if it was more involved, I would have been able to show you guys the next step. But since it wasn't, we'll just briefly discuss what else you'd be looking for. Uh, if this one has a U-Haul trailer wiring uh, harness that's been spliced into the actual uh, assemblies. So... We could have had an issue in the wire, or we could have had rodent damage, because you guys know that I've had an issue with rodents with this vehicle. We could have had a burnt out fuse. We could have had something so much more than just changing out a bulb, and wouldn't that have been cool to see? At any rate, that's all I got for this video, guys. Thanks as always for watching. I hope it helped. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Share if you want to share. We'll see you guys next time. Deuces.